What is up my YouTube friends? I had a question recently where someone in my comments asked if you could zoom a camera using OBS. And I thought, man, that would be awesome. I need to figure out how you could do that. So I did. And today I'm gonna show you how you can zoom in a camera or any other OBS asset. So let's get to it. My analytics say that 80% of the folks watching my content are not subscribed. Am I doing something wrong? If so, let me know in the comments. But if you are looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better YouTuber or live streamer, then why not subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you don't miss any new content. It's totally free. The first thing we need to do is add a free plugin called the Move Transition. It's one of my favorites. There is a link in the description so you can download it for yourself. Here we are in the Move Transition plugins webpage. You can see it listed at the top. There's also a link in the description. And if you scroll through here, it's gonna give you a little bit more information about how it works and all that kind of stuff. We're just gonna click this download button over here and I'm gonna download the Move Transition Windows Zip. Not the installer, just the Windows Zip. It's plenty easy to use. I'm gonna go ahead and save this file to my local drive. And then I'm gonna go into the location where my downloads are at. And I'm gonna double click on the zip file and I'm gonna grab these two folders and just copy them. Now I'm going to go to the location where I have OBS installed. For most of you, it's probably gonna be C, Program Files, and then it will be the OBS folder. I have it installed in a different location, so I'm gonna just go ahead and browse to that. And OBS Studio is the folder. I'm gonna right click on that folder and go ahead and paste in those two folders that we copied out. And since I already have it installed, it's gonna give me some error messages and that kind of stuff. And it's also going to make me skip this file because of course I'm actually running OBS to record my screen. But if you've never had it installed, you won't have any problems. It copies those in there. And now we have the Move plugin installed in OBS. That was easy, right? Now I wanna take a sec to mention another channel I do called For the Love of Cars. On it, I explore, drive, and express my passion for all things automotive. If you're a car nut like I am, or you're just looking to check out what else I might do in my free time, have a look at For the Love of Cars. There's a link in the description or at the end of the video, and I hope to see you there. Now let me show you how to use the move transition to zoom in cameras, videos, or any other asset. So first I'm gonna show you the very easiest way to do this. There are so many things you can do, but this is the really easy way. There we go, I loaded my camera in here. I'm gonna go to another scene. I'm just going to load in that same camera and all I'm gonna do is zoom this in. So I'm just gonna drag it so that I get the framing that I want zoomed in. We'll put my little predator over here to the right and that looks pretty good. So now you can see that it goes back and forth. But of course we want it to zoom in or give us a transition that looks like a zoom in. So what I'm gonna do is go over here to the right and I'm gonna drop this down and select add move. And I'm gonna just call this transition zoom and click OK. I'm just gonna click contains the other source name and there really isn't anything else we need to change for this most basic of zoom transitions. And if you preview, it doesn't really look like what we want, but if I click OK, you're gonna see when I transition, it zooms in. And it's really that simple. I mean, that's exactly what we're looking for from a zoom transition, but believe me, there is a lot more we can do with this. So here I have my camera and it's tiny and kind of cropped up a little bit. And in the background, I'm gonna go ahead and add a media source. We'll just add this ocular media source and I'm gonna loop it and then click okay. And then what I'm gonna do is just move my camera into the front of it or over top. So there we go. Now you can see my camera and we have the Oculus video in the back. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and go to media source and we're gonna go to add existing and we're gonna add that media source. So there we go. Now we've got the Oculus in here and I'm gonna once again move my camera above it and I'm gonna resize our little video. I'm gonna right click on my camera and I'm gonna go to transform and I'm just gonna reset that transform. So my camera's big. I'm gonna move it under our Oculus media source. So now you can see we're kind of zooming in on me and what we can do if we switch back and forth, you can see I can have a discussion about this video while I change the zoom factors on each of these scenes. So it easily allows me to, uh, let's say I was gonna do a movie review or a video review or something like that, I can talk about this source scene. And what you're gonna notice is you see the little bar going across as the video plays. 
when I switch scenes, that bar continues along. It doesn't restart the video. This means I can give commentary on a video of sorts and zoom in on different locations and not have to worry about it restarting the video every time we do it. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna load in a different video to kind of give you a better example of this. And this is just a video of some video game footage that I have. And so now we have that video loaded in and when I switch, it'll make it bigger or smaller it zooms into either one but the best part is that it just keeps playing along so I can continue to give commentary on either screen or layout without having to worry about the video starting over again and this is really cool and this is just the beginning there are some really absolutely amazing things that you can do with this next I'm going to show you how you might do a tutorial using the zoom in method did you know that YouTube viewers have a superpower that's right you can supercharge any video you enjoy just by clicking that like button right down below just that simple free act forces YouTube to share this video out to a wider audience who may normally never get to see it so if this video is helping you please consider using Using your superpower and click that like button below you're gonna make my cat dusty very happy so here we are back in OBS the first thing we're gonna do is click this plus and we're going to add a window capture and I'm just gonna call this DR and click OK now I'm going to drop this down and select my DaVinci Resolve window so this means I would be giving a DaVinci Resolve tutorial and this looks fine I'm gonna click the plus and we're going to add a camera source in here so we can see me in the background I don't have one so I'm gonna to have to create one so I'm just going to select a video capture device I'm gonna drop device down and select my cam link and I like to go ahead and change default device to custom and put in the resolution of my camera. And then I scroll down to the bottom here. I'm going to check use custom audio device. And I'm going to select that microphone that's on my camera. In this case, cam link and click OK. And I have to turn my microphone on so we can see it. There we go. And we can see that it is working just fine. And what I'm going to do is make this small and move it to where I want it. Now let's go ahead and crop it up a little bit. And I'm just going to move it up to the top left. And now we're going to build our second scene. So I'm going to click that plus. I'm going to go to window capture. I'm going to load in that DaVinci Resolve window again. And this time I'm going to zoom in on a location where if I'm given a tutorial, we might want to take a closer look at it. it. Might make it easier for our audience to see specific aspects of what I'm trying to teach. So we'll go over here and we'll kind of highlight this panel over here to the right, the inspection panel. Now it looks good. That's what we're looking for. And so now when I switch back and forth, you can see we're zooming in on that inspection panel. So if I'm giving a tutorial, it makes it easy for me to explain exactly what's going on over there. And this can all be done while you're live. It's pretty amazing. Now, if I wanted to add a camera in here, I can go ahead and do that. I'm gonna show you how you can make your camera appear and disappear. So I'm gonna select the existing camera I already added and click okay. And then I'm just gonna resize this. And I'm gonna crop it up a little bit do that by holding down the alt key and just dragging these edges and there we go and then we can make it a little smaller and maybe I want to hide this so I can just click this little eyeball here and it will turn it off and you can set these eyeballs with hotkeys as well but now I'm going to use a new feature in OBS 27 um, we're going to use the transitions for turning these on and off this is the show transition and it previews what it's going to look like and I want it to come in from the right and there we go and I'll click OK and then I want to go ahead and do the hide transition here as well. We're going to use the swipe. Let me check and make sure we're doing the right thing here. There we go. So when we show it, you can see it swipes from left to right. And then when it goes out, we want it to swipe from right to left. So there we go. So now we can swipe this in and out just by clicking on this little eyeball, which of course we can set up with a hotkey as well. So if I'm giving a tutorial, I can just use the hotkey to have that show up. So now you can see we zoom in there and maybe we're on that screen for a while. So we want our camera to appear. We can just use our hotkey to make our camera appear down here. And it makes every scene just that much more dynamic. So now we've been able to zoom in and we're also able to make our camera appear wherever we want on the screen. Man, this is such a powerful tool. If you want to learn more about the Move Transition plugin and other really good ones, you should check this video out. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better YouTuber or live streamer, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.